Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be covering another executor that is currently working with Roblox. Now, this executor is personally one of my favorites. Um, it is pretty much my go-to executor at the moment. It is completely keyless as well, which makes it really convenient. And the download process is really, really quick and simple as well. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. The first thing you need to do is, of course, make sure you're on Windows 10 or 11. This will not work on any other operating system as of right now. And of course, once you do make sure of that, come down over to the virus and threat protection. So to do that, go over to the windows icon on windows 11 it's going to be right here and on windows 10 it's going to be in the bottom left corner go ahead and click that and search for virus and threat protection let that open up here we go and over here go into manage settings and at the top go ahead and turn off real-time protection when you turn this off it will give you a little prompt go ahead and click on yes you will be able to turn this back on in a little while but for now make sure you turn this off otherwise you will not be able to download the executor once you've done that you can go into the first link in the description which will be the download link for the valley's executor over here just go ahead and click on the download button and once you click that it will give you a straightforward download it will not ask you to do any sort of link word ties or any any download steps it will give you the straight download from here you can go ahead and choose any way you wish to download it i'm going to download it on my desktop so i'm going to go ahead and click on save and that's going to download it to my desktop um if for any reason it doesn't complete the download go back to your browser and from here go ahead and click on Control plus j and that will open up your downloads folder and you can approve it from there another way of doing it is coming over here and clicking on downloads and that will also open your downloads folder and you can improve it from there once you have it downloaded on your desktop for now don't do anything go ahead and right click and just create a new folder and name it anything you want i'm just going to name it values which is the name of the executor and drag the actual launcher into that folder once you do that go back into your virus and threat protection go ahead and open this up and let this load of course again and go into manage settings and from here scroll down until you see exclusions click on add or remove exclusion from here go ahead and click on add an exclusion choose folder and from here choose wherever you have your values folder created from for me it's on my desktop so i'm going to click desktop and go ahead and single click that folder to the point where it's highlighted and click select folder make sure it's been added to your exclusions once you have made sure of that you can go back and you can turn on your real-time protection again if you wish to do that and yeah so you're pretty much ready to use the executor now go ahead and double click the actual launcher and if it does give you this right here go ahead and click on more info and click on run on anyway make guys i'm telling you it's, it's completely safe so you don't have to worry about any sort of viruses and from here go ahead and click on yes and it will start downloading the values executor into this folder and you can see how simple the actual installation process is you don't have to go through any additional uh, steps and there we go so we're pretty much good to go at this point you can log into the actual executor it has already recognized uh, me so it pretty much logged me in it will ask you to log in you can create a free account or you can uh, pretty much continue as a guest and yeah so that's that's it for pretty much setting up and downloading the executor and I'll go through the actual um, options available within the executor and of course how to use it. Alright, so firstly on the home screen, you've got the news, you've also got the notifications, you've also got some scripts that may be trending. Some of these features are currently in beta and they will be rolled out very soon. Um, over here, you can also, of course, see the actual main dashboard where you're able to put your scripts and click attach and you'll be able to execute your script that way. Um, down here, you can also search for scripts. So if you don't necessarily want to uh, find a script, you can also just pretty much search for it within the executor. So I can search for a jailbreak script and it will give me a bunch of jailbreak scripts. You can also do the same for another game say for search arsenal it's going to give me some um, scripts for arsenal um i think the actual script hub currently it may be down um okay there we go so i had just uh, i had to actually switch from here so these are valley scripts uh exclusive to values and these are the uh this is the normal script hub so you can search for a bunch of scripts here and you can simply execute them by clicking it and you can just click run script or you can also copy the script from here which is pretty convenient uh, from here i've actually gotten ahead and added someone to just show you how this works so um they've also got a friends feature so if you want to create an account you can do that within the executor um, and you can add your friends there so you can see what time they're online uh your incoming friend requests your blocked uh friends um you've also got the chat so you can actually send someone messages so for example if i want to send this person a message i can type hi and it will send that message for me and of course you can also so customize your profile from here by going down here you can also change your picture um you can also add your discord tag in here your email your you can change your password your profile picture and a bunch of the things okay <laughs> um in the ui you've got auto touch i would recommend having this on notification on friend requests so if anyone tries adding you and save tabs so if you 
close the executor and reopen it, it will still save the script tabs that you have opened. So remember the scripts that you were previously using. Um, let's go back in here and go into Roblox FPS unlocker that will pretty much give you unlimited FPS as long as your computer uh, can handle it. So for example, I've got 144 hertz monitor, so it'll give me 144 hertz of frame rate. Kill Roblox, which will automatically kill or close Roblox if it, for example, crashes. Fix uh, attach for if for any reason it's not attaching, you can click that and it will fix any sort of problems for you. Open auto execute, so this will open the auto execute folder. You can have your auto execute scripts, which will automatically execute as soon as you join a game. Um, and this is the workspace folder, which you can also see in here. Um, and appearance, if you go here, you can also change the theme. You also got uh, always on top, which will always keep the values execute on top, no matter what you do. So as you can see, if I'm clicking the folder in the background, it still stays on top. But if I uncheck this and I click it, you can see that it goes in the background. You can also explore themes and they've also got, um, they will also be introducing new languages as well. And yeah, that's pretty much the executor. Now I will show you how it to actually use it so the first thing you need to do is go into your microsoft store um, which is available on windows 10 and 11 and once it does open you simply want to search for roblox and if you don't have it installed on your microsoft store you can simply go ahead and click on get and then you'll be able to install it for free go ahead and click on play and at this point it will ask you to log in go ahead and log into your account and once you have logged in you're going to load into the dashboard just simply go ahead and let that load and you can go back into your executor and it will say ready at the bottom from here, you can simply go ahead and click on attach and that will start attaching the executor. And once it does say attached, at this point, you're ready to use the executor. So if I was to go into any game, let's go ahead and go into Arsenal, for example. We have already attached, so I don't need to click it again. You can double check if it has been attached by clicking attach again and it says already injected or you can check at the bottom right here as well. All right, here we go. We just loaded into the game. Now, all I need to do is simply paste my script and click execute and I should execute the script for me. This script can take a couple of seconds seconds so let's just give a couple of seconds to load and there you go it's completely working um now of course you also can go into the cloud option over here and search for your own script in here and you can select it and execute it from here um but let's go ahead and actually check the script and make sure it's working so i'm just simply going to go ahead and turn on kill all and go into the game and i should start killing everyone um there we go and you can see on the top right in the kill feed it has pretty much starting started killing everyone and you can see it's, it's working perfectly fine let's also try out the visuals esp boxes yep i can see the names the boxes everything and we've pretty much won the game um and yeah that's it that's pretty much how you use the executor guys it's pretty simple and the download process is straightforward um there are no keys at all so yeah that's pretty much the actual video guys hopefully you did like it. if you did make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and as always Thanks for watching.